So there's so many people in the diet and weight loss industry that say that you need to eat a specific type of diet and a lot of time they say alongside that is you can eat as many calories as you want and you'll still lose weight, but this is absolute garbage. So the topic of this video is how you can lose weight on any diet and then also I'm gonna talk about how you can get fat on any diet. And what is my education or expertise in this? Well, it's my own personal experience. Currently on a bulk, so I'm not as shredded, but I put a photo in a short while that shows when I'm super shredded and pumped what I look like. But I normally stay around an 8% body fat year in, year out, and I've done this for many, many years. And there is so many people that are not super shredded and have a low body fat percentage that keep saying on my channel that plant oils make people fat and this thing and that thing and that thing and pretty much time and time again, what they're saying is absolute nonsense. So now on to the topic of the video. So how can you go about losing weight on any diet, whether it is the carnivore diet, keto diet, fruitarian diet, vegan diet, whatever diet out there, even if it's the Twinkie only diet, which some man actually lost a significant amount of weight by just eating Twinkies. Yes, you heard me right. I put a link down below for that. I wouldn't recommend that because it's not the healthiest of things to do, but it can be done with Twinkies and any other food or diets out there. So it's very, very simple. All you need to be doing is working out what your maintenance calories, which your maintenance calories means the calories you need to sustain the weight that you're currently at. And then what you'd actually do is start eating your diet in a way where you are in a calorie deficit. The more drastic the deficit of the calories is with your diet, the greater the weight loss results are going to roll in. But the more that you lower your calories and the more you're in a calorie deficit, it's gonna be way harder to sustain your diet. So you never wanna to go too extreme with a calorie deficit, otherwise it's not gonna be sustainable and you're gonna be doing a yo-yo diet, which a lot of people do out there, where they go in such an extreme calorie deficit and they're hungry all the time and it's not sustainable. So after a while, the hunger just overtakes them and they end up binging on very, very calorie rich junk foods that are highly processed and not healthy for anyone in any way, shape or form. And I wanna make some really good examples. I know people that have lost weight on the keto diet, carnival diet, fruitarian diet, all these other different diets out there, including if it fits your macros and so on. But then there's also been a lot of people on pretty much every diet out there, which there's hundreds of them that have been created by people, where people on these types of diets have also got fat on these diets, even though they've been told that you're gonna get amazing weight loss results. So, how would you end up gaining an excess of fat that goes on to your body on any type of diet out there, including the carnival diet? And I'm gonna make an example of someone that I know that did this, and there's a couple other people that know that got fat on the carnival diet as well, is that you are eating such a large amount of calories that you're in an excess of calories, which is known as a calorie surplus. And this means you're eating more calories than your body is burning and utilizing. So then it results in your body storing it as excess fat, which this is an amazing survival mechanism that has been within us for millions and millions of years. Because in our natural environment, there'd be times where we would be feasting and then there would be famine. We didn't have access to food at all hours of the day on every corner of every single different place in the jungle. So we now, do not have this going on in our own environment. There's people that are just eating and eating and eating and eating, and they're never fasting whatsoever, and they're eating more calories and then they're burning, and then that's why we have such an epidemic in the world with obesity. It's really as simple as that. And oh my God, if anyone else says to me, which I've had this multiple times recently, where they say this food is fattening, oh no, 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 no. What are you talking about that is not true whatsoever. No food is fattening in of itself, which you may be wondering, what are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to make one very good example. If you have a burger and it's got say like five, 600 calories in it, it's such a small package 
of foods that you are eating and then try and eat the same amount of calories from apples. The amount of apples you'd have to eat would be absolutely insane because the apples have a lot of water content in, so the calorie content within them is very, very low. So with junk foods that are processed foods, it can be way easier to overeat on calories. And this is what people are doing time and time again. And these foods are normally very, very high in fat and very high in carbs and not that high in protein. And this is very, very good. And the companies are very, very clever that make these foods because protein satiates you the most. So when there's not loads of protein in it, yes, you will feel full after eating it if you eat enough of it. But then after a short while, it's normally gonna make you feel quite hungry. So this is something to be very, very aware of. Because then guess what? You're gonna end up eating more food throughout the day and you're just gonna keep getting hungry and add things such as MSG and a lot of fat and a lot of sugar and many other very addictive things and certain other things that can just make you want more and more food. So it's easier to overeat as well. So yeah, now onto the carnivore diet. There is so many people that say everyone is gonna get amazing weight loss results on a carnivore diet. My friend Daniel, who I did an interview with, if you haven't seen that, he's an ex-vegan. I put a link for up above. He actually did raw carnivore for over a year and got amazing. And he managed to regain his health after his health being destroyed on a vegan diet. Well, his dad got on a carnivore diet quite some time ago. And Daniel's dad, I'm not sure of his weight, but he's probably around like three or 400 pounds in weight. So a lot of excess body fat. And he found on the carnivore diet, when he was having way more fat and not as much protein, he wasn't getting amazing weight loss benefits. Because guess what? He wasn't feeling satiated for very long periods of time with these foods. He found it was easier to eat in excess of calories. But then once he switched to super high protein, where he's getting about 90% of his calories coming from protein and only 10% of his calories coming from fat, that's when he's continued to get such amazing, sustainable weight loss benefits because he can eat lower amount of calories and stay satiated for longer and then eat in a calorie deficit. So then his body is gonna start using his own body fat as fuel which is obviously gonna give you the most amazing weight loss benefits that you can get. And then, if we look at another diet, most people that switch onto a fruitarian diet become very, very lean. But there was someone on YouTube, I show a picture here, and he managed to get fat on a fruitarian diet because he tried to get fat by eating in excess of calories, and it worked really, really effectively. And you can see this across the board with any diet. Any diet, when you're in an excess of calories, is gonna make you gain weight. Don't say that food is fattening and this food and that food and that food. Say no, this food is easier to get fat on because the amount of calories I can eat from that in one sitting compared to this other food over here is way, way easier. And then I wanna talk about my own personal experience. So I've tried many diets over the years. I've done vegan keto, carnivore. I've done the carnivore diet with raw milk in, so it's got quite a lot of carbs. I've done zero carb carnivore. I've done the fruitarian diet, the whole food plant-based diet, just a standard American diet. And guess what? On all of them, I've always been lean because guess what? The majority of the time I've been in a calorie deficit. So then I'm not gonna store any of the food as additional fat. But one point in my life, and I put an image of what I looked like, I got the most fat. I obviously wasn't obese whatsoever, but the reason why I put on the most fat in my life at that time, I was sedentary. I wasn't exercising at all, and I was pretty much sitting on my bum at all hours of the day and eating an excess of calories. So then I ended up putting on weight. But as soon as I kept eating the way that I was and started working out on a regular basis, I lost the weight very, very quickly. So I hope this makes some sense and drums something into you because there's so many people in the diet and weight loss movement that are saying so many things like you have Durian Rider and Freely that say they're high carb, 30 bananas a day or raw till four diet. You can eat as many calories as you want and you'll lose weight, which is absolute garbage because so many people have got fat on their diet. And there's so many other people that say this with so many other diets as well. And then when someone gets fat, they say, well, you must be doing something wrong. You must not be having enough salt or you must not be working out enough or doing this or that. And it's like, well, actually, they're just eating too many calories. It's really as simple as that. And one last thing I want to add on to the end of the video before I end it, because I know some people are gonna ask this. Well, what is the diet 
that you should be getting on to lose weight? Well, it's very, very simple. Try out different diets, try ones that you feel the most drawn to, and when you experiment with them, eat the diet where you enjoy the food the most, it makes you stay satiated for as long as possible, and where it makes it easy for you to stay in a calorie deficit without getting hungry throughout the day. Because guess what? When you're doing all of those things and getting all those things with a diet, you're gonna be able to sustain it over a long period of time. You didn't get fat overnight. You're not gonna lose it overnight. So you want something that you can do consistently over a long period of time, which is known as the compound effect. If you haven't listened to this audio book by Darren Hardy, it's my favorite audio book. And he talks about taking small, seemingly insignificant steps taken consistently over a long period of time so you can actually get real, real results. And you can apply this to any area in life. I put a link down below for this. If you haven't checked this out, definitely check this out. If this was a game changer for me, like I said, it's my favorite book. So yeah, stop listening to other people out there that say like, oh, you need to eat the keto diet or the carnival diet because it's gonna make you lose the weight the quickest, which yes, from my own experience and what I personally know about these diets, when you're on a zero carb carnival diet, because you're not eating any carbohydrates, for about a week, when you switch these diets, you're gonna lose a lot of water weight from the carbohydrates that you're not eating anymore. And your body is going through some massive changes whilst on these diets. And it's flushing out a lot of water content throughout your body due to be in, in a ketogenic state, which actually can mess up people's electrolytes. So that's why people say on a ketogenic diet or a carnival diet, if you're not feeling good enough on this diet, then make sure that you up your salt and water intake. So yeah, at first, these diets will give you very, very quick weight loss results, but it's because it's depleting water and muscle glycogen, not fat or even muscle. But over a long period of time, any diet is gonna give you amazing weight loss results. But yeah, if you're feeling bad for your diet, you're feeling hungry all the time, it's just not gonna work. It's really, really as simple as that. So stop listening to other people and telling you this is the best diet for weight loss and this one and this one and this one. Just find one that you're drawn to and just do that. It's really, really simple and being in a calorie deficit, like I said many, many times, but I think I need to keep affirming that. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Got any questions? Leave them down below. And don't forget to like, share, and make sure you do subscribe and make sure you click that bell notification button. Don't hesitate, I know that you are, don't wait around, click that subscribe button now and the bell button, otherwise you will not be notified of when new videos are coming, which I have many other videos that can help you go in the direction of getting the physique that you desire. So yeah, thanks for subscribing. Definitely make sure that you did. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, make the most of it, and catch you on the flip side. Peace.